this. Sure you wrote it big enough? Mm -hmm. Yes, old King George should be able to see that. <laughs> course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another a decent respect requires that they declare the causes which impel them to the separation we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights and among these a life liberty and the pursuit of happiness to secure these rights governments are instituted among men deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed and whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to establish new government we, therefore, the representatives of the United States of America, do and with the authority of the good people of these colonies, solemnly publish and declare that these United Colonies are, and of right ought to be, free and independent states, that they are absolved of all allegiance to the British Crown, and that all political connection between them and the state of Great Britain is and ought to be totally dissolved. In the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. Want more on the real Sons of Liberty? Get an in-depth look at the actual events from the experts. Paul Revere never made it to Concord, but Samuel Prescott did. Now on History.com slash Sons. I was born by the bird. No job too small. I keep my carpet clean. We'll make a dollar in this world. And my money earned. You gotta take some risks. I will build my boat.